Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. Over the last several episodes, we talked about the first two commandments and have moved on to the third. We discussed worship on Sundays, and now it's time to talk about the second aspect of keeping the Lord's Day holy, Sunday work and profit. In the Old Testament, the Jews were forbidden to work on the Sabbath, and the Pharisees often used this interpretation of the third commandment to attack Jesus, saying that he shouldn't heal people on the Sabbath, since that was basically a form of work. However, as Jesus pointed out to them, that interpretation is incorrect. And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Mark 2, 27. In other words, the Sabbath obligations are for the benefit of our fellow man. They are not intended to oppress people. In fact, in a very real way, the Lord's Day, when properly respected, makes any oppression less intrusive. Remember, when the Sabbath was first instituted, the world was a harsh and barbaric place, and people treated each other shamefully. Slavery was rampant, and heavy workloads almost constant, especially in and around Egypt, the place where the Israelites had just finished escaping from. To understand how work should be treated on the Lord's Day, we need to understand what kinds of problems the Sabbath was originally intended to resolve. The commandment makes a special point of saying that work should be done on six days of the week, but not on the Sabbath. And this isn't just God telling us to take a day off for our health, although I'm sure that's part of it. As we saw when studying the first commandment, it's possible to set up money and gain as a false god, worshipping it when we should be worshipping God. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing business, making money, or with making a profit, but we can't afford to let the struggle for riches eclipse our lives, and not working on Sundays helps us to remember that. We're not slaves of money. We're free people under Christ. The Lord's Day gives us a chance to take some time off from our jobs, pause in our struggle to survive, and remember who's really in control. We need to make money in order to live, but what's far more important is to invest time and effort into our relationship with God so that we can live forever. Of course, if you have no choice but to work on Sundays, you're not morally responsible for doing so. But if you want to work on Sundays in order to make a little extra cash, that would be a violation of the third commandment, putting personal profit before God. Next time we'll talk about the third aspect of keeping the Lord's Day holy, employment on Sundays. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.